Hello all my makeup freaks. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video for me. I am going to be doing the Dear Me video. Kind of late to the bandwagon on this, but I've just seen a lot of them and I think they're a fantastic idea. So I hope you enjoy. So this is me talking to my younger self. Now, as you can imagine, my younger self had some issues. I have never really fit in. I've always kind of been my own little different kind of snowflake over here floating around. And yeah, so what I want to say to my younger self is, girl, you are going to go through times that you think you are ugly and you think no one likes you. And it doesn't matter because you're going to grow up and you're going to be this. You are going to be damn gorgeous, okay? You are going to get married and you are going to get divorced. And just because you get divorced and it didn't work out doesn't mean that you did not make the right choice because y'all are still best friends and you have the most fantastic kids in the whole entire world. Yes, you are going to be a mom and you are going to be a great mom and they're going to be the most important things in your life or the most important people in your life and your kids are going to be beautiful, fantastic, smart, and let me just tell you, you are smart. Sometimes I know you feel like you're not smart because you have dyslexia and you can't spell. For some reason, when you get to be an adult, it gets better. Yes, there are still signs that you look at words and you don't realize like stop is spelling stop. It looks like it is spelling something else, but your spelling gets better. And believe it or not, it is not even a problem when you're an adult like it was in school. So you have nothing to feel ashamed about or worried about. Also, the kids that made fun of you in school, guess what? Now they're like, hey Stephanie, how are you doing? And they're wanting to really be your friends. And you can pick or choose if you want to be their friends based on how they treated you in school. The people that matter to you matter and the people that don't matter don't matter. At one point you are going to realize that when they called you a freak, yeah, you are a freak. You're a freak in a good way because you are unique and different and you don't want to be a little sheep going ba 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 after everyone. You want to be your own unique person and that makes you a freak and that makes you wonderful. Everything that they made fun of you for is what now you embrace and what you realize is just you being you and it's a beautiful thing. You have nothing to feel bad about. I know there are times that you go home from school and you cry and you just don't want to go back the next day. Well, guess what? You're going to go back the next day and you're going to rock that. You're going to go to college and you're going to rock that. You are going to major in music because you love it and you've decided in your life that you're only going to do things that you love that is important to you. You're going to meet your husband or your future husband at college and like I said, he is going to love you for you. He's going to meet you when you're wearing black lipstick and think you are the most amazing person that he's ever met. Yes, it doesn't work out, but he still loves you and y'all are best friends. I hope you realize that you are a great person and your life is wonderful. It is going to be wonderful and there's nothing, nothing in this world that can bring you down anymore because you have the best children and the best family in the whole world. You are going to have problems in your life. I'm not saying that it's going to be perfect. You are going to live through one of the saddest times in your life because one of your worst fears that you've ever had is not meeting your father before he passes is going to come true. But through that, you are going to find out that you have a sister and she is going to be amazing. She is going to be the person in life that is probably the most like you. And she is going to not only be your sister, but she is going to be your best friend, which is what a sister should be. So I just want you to know that you may have trouble, you may have bad times, but it's going to be fine and you are a great person. And hey, you look like this when you're almost 40. So yay for good skincare. I love you, my little 15 year old self. 
and I love me now. So I just want you to know that. So guys, I hope you enjoy. This is kind of like really emotional and I guess I shared like a lot of personal things, but I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you've done this video so I can check it out because I really think it's just, it, it's important to get that out there for all of the people that maybe are 15 or younger and it's going through stuff. It does get better. I am 39 years old. I will be 40 next month and yeah, life is great. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.